Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello and welcome back friends. Welcome to another video lecture uh, by Kami Biology. In this video lecture uh, we are going to talk about uh, inclusion bodies. Inclusion Now what is inclusion bodies? Inclusion bodies are actually a membrane bounded organelles which are usually present inside the cell or we can say inside the prokaryotic cell or inside the eukaryotic cell and uh, these granules we, we can also uh, we can also called uh, inclusion body we can also call what we can also call granules granules okay they can store different kinds of uh, nutrients uh, like uh, carbohydrates fats glycogen lipids any other nutrients they can store which are specially used for the cell energy now let's suppose this is a cell so inside the cell what we have we have the inclusion bodies so let me draw here now these are what these blue one dots as I drawing these are what these are the different inclusion bodies not only that we have different kinds of the inclusion bodies these inclusion body are actually spherical in shape and if we see the diameter of this inclusion body so they have 2 2.4 to 4.0 nm Okay, so this will be the diameter of uh, these granules or we can say inclusion bodies. Now the inclusion body can be seen with light microscope and electron microscope. For light microscope, it uh, must be stained with iodine. Okay, so when we want to see it with light microscope, so it must be stained with iodine, then we can easily watch it with light microscope. But for electron microscope, we doesn't want to uh, stain it, although we can stain but we, we, we doesn't want to stain it with the uh, uh, any kind of stain so we can easily watch it with the electron microscope we can easily study their structure their shape their uh, uh, means the uh, means the nutrients which are stored in them we can also study a lot of things uh, with the electron microscope now the inclusion bodies uh, are actually scattered in the cytoplasm now this is let's suppose a cell inside the cell this is the cytoplasm portion so inside the cytoplasm portion these inclusion body are what these are in the scattered form now we have different types of the inclusion bodies or we have many types or many uh, kinds of the uh, granules or inclusion bodies so let me write the name the first we have the first we have phosphate granules so let me write the name phosphate granules as the name suggests uh, so these inclusion body or these phosphate granules are specially used to store phosphate molecules inside the cell so these black one as I drawing here these black ones are what these black ones are the phosphate granules we also called it metachromatic granules let me write we also call that what we also call that metachromatic so metachromatic granules why because it show metachromatic effect due to which we call it metachromatic granules as well these phosphate granules are usually present in the prokaryotic cell not in the eukaryotic cell in some of the eukaryotic cell but not in all now the second granules we have glycogen granules glycogen granules so as the name suggests these granules are actually used to store uh, glycogen or we can say glucose carbohydrates and sugar molecules so, so it can be stored by these glycogen granules okay uh, third we have sulfur granules so sulfur granules will be uh, uh, yellow in form if we see so these green one represent the sulfur granules they can store sulfur molecules or sulfur compound okay next we have cyanophycine granules Sino Phycine
cyanophycine granules these granules will be in this form in these cyanophycine granules are also in black in color okay so cyanophycine granules are actually responsible to store different kinds of the nutrients or we can say proteins okay or we can also say they can store uh, uh, means if we see the cyanophycine granules so it is actually made up of a single small polypeptide uh, molecules uh, and we call that uh, agranine and aspartic acid now next we have poly beta hydroxy so let me write the name Body beta hydroxy butyrate granules. Okay, so poly beta hydroxy butyrate granules. These are those granules which are specially used to store uh, hydroxy butyrate molecules. Okay, these hydroxyburate molecules are actually used to provide energy to the cell. Okay, these poly beta hydroxy butyrate granules are actually membrane bounded granules as well. Next, we have carboxysomes. Carboxysomes. Now this is another granules which are specially used to store carbon dioxide or we can say it can speak carb uh, fix carbon dioxide. So it can fix carbon dioxide. This carboxysome contain an enzyme we, we, we call that ribo, ribolase. It, car, boxy lays so due to this enzyme they can store carbon dioxide okay now we have another granules uh, <coughs> or inclusion bodies uh, we got so let me draw the carboxylase first of all here so it will be look like in this form so if we see it in the microscope uh, so it will be look like in this form now the diameter of this carboxysomes will be a hundred nanometer so 100 nanometer will be their diameter okay it's then we have uh, gas vehicles and uh, gas vesicles gas vehicles and gas vehicle vesicles are those granules or inclusion bodies which are specially used to store gas molecules just like carbon uh, like uh, we can say oxygen carbon dioxide okay so they can use to store gases now it is hollow in circle and so if we see it is hollow and in circle form just like that so these are what these are the gas vehicles okay so that's all about the inclusion bodies inclusion bodies can not store only the nutrients they can store energy they can store carbohydrates they can store organic inorganic substance they can store all those material which are specially used for the cell uh, surviving or for the cell growth or for the cell development as well. Now all these granules as we study all these granules are what they all these granules are actually hydrophobic in nature. It means that they are not soluble in water or they are not soluble in the cytoplasm. They are actually in, present in the suspended form inside the cytoplasm of the cell. Now cyanobacteria so all these granules are present in the bacteria cyanobacteria have two kinds of the granules uh, these polyhydroxy butyrate granules and they have no sorry uh, they have cyanophycine granules and carboxysome granules so carboxysomes and cyanophycine granules are usually present in the cyanobacteria okay now these gas vehicles and gas vesicles are actually present in the cyanobacteria uh, means uh, uh, sorry these gas vehicles and gas vesicles are actually present in the helobacter and it is also present in the antiotherix means helobacter uh, let me write the name helobacter antiotherix so they are present in the helobacter Bacter, which is which is salt loving okay and we have a thio which are filamentous bacteria 
now uh, this uh, these two bacteria have uh, gas vacuoles and gas vesicles these two bacteria we also call that aquatic bacteria aquatic prokaryotes aquatic prokaryotes prokaryotes as well so that's all about the uh, inclusion bodies okay so i hope this video has helped you if you like this video please hit the like button share this video and make sure to subscribe the channel and also hit the and also press the bell icon to get more updates of the cell uh, lectures uh, and some other video lecture as well thank you so much